but we now know what may cause those mean girl cliques to form in high school and how to end them. Researchers say that bigger schools that offer kids more class choices and the freedom to sit where they want are more prone to cliques. They say that's because with more choices, students are in a position to select their friends, whereas in smaller schools, they may be forced to befriend somebody who's wow. different from mm. them. Uh, I don't know, Jedediah, do you agree with that? <laughs> Something seems no. a bit off. Disagree. Have taught in really small schools, really big schools. I can tell you that hormones are the culprit. Girls at that age, they get jealous when the boys are around. I've taught classes where there's six kids, and you see two kids over here, two kids over there. You go in the first day of class, and they've already decided who they like and who they don't like. Huge problem. Has nothing to do with that. And let's face it, there are mean girls at every age. I know mean girls that are 35 years old, that are, you know, it, it's not necessarily about age sometimes. sometimes it's just the way you're raised and the way you act. Yeah, and, and uniforms don't really help either. Because I used to think, well, <laughs> if you send your, you know, your children to yeah, private school. Theory. So I asked my girlfriends. I said, so if I send Bella and Danica to private school, do I avoid the? And they were like, no, Harris. It's yeah. not about the uniform. It's hormones, at all. as you say. There's no getting it out. And by the way, if you know 35 year old Mean Girls. I do. I have another word for them. I do it's, too. You know, and I, I use it all that. No. Well, the that is not, is not encompassing quite enough. That's not but there's me, enough. there's mean girls at any age. There's cliques at any yeah. age. Is it? I mean, is it really a terrible thing, Sandra, when you have people who are in the band together and they hang out, the cheerleaders hang out together? And does school size matter? I was at a big school and then at a small school, and there were cliques in both. I was at a big school and there were cliques everywhere. And I feel like I had friends that were kind of part of every group. Because I think it's, you know, important to expose yourself to all... What? Popular. Wow. Because our executive producer just said, now you know why you're not invited to the control room, Harris. <laughs> oh, Harris. That was oh, my <laughs> um, But I think, and I know, Guy, we were chatting about this at the commercial, I think what is hilarious is that these sociologists think that they've come up for the, with the answer to right. all of this, right? I mean, they're paid to come up with an answer, so they have to say they have an answer. But Jedediah probably sheds the most light on it that, listen, Listen, this is hormones, this is puberty, yeah. this is just people being teenagers. And it's that's human high nature. Mm -hmm. It's human nature. And we were laughing. I mean, I guess these sociologists have to sometimes justify their existence, but the idea that, oh, <laughs> we've, got, we've got this figured out, everyone. Right. Teenage meanness is caused by large high schools with too many choices for, oh, shut up. So no. what's the answer? Is, is there everybody in a small it, school? I know they're saying, no. okay, everybody should be friends with everybody, but should everybody really be friends with everybody? I mean, no. sometimes you're just not going to like somebody mm -hmm. and you don't want to hang out with them. Why is that so terrible, as long as there's not bullying? Does it like, hurt, Andrea, to keep your nice. enemies close? Well, you have to. <laughs> I think it's important that Jed and I I'm staying Something, some moment just happened. But Jen and I yeah, would ask you, I mean, don't, yeah, you exactly. don't you think it's an important lesson, though, for kids to learn how to deal with difficult people? Like, if they don't ever learn it, when they get into the workplace Good and you're point. being paid to be someplace and you can't get along with everybody like I your best friend, do. you got to be able to deal. And also, the lesson is, you know what? You don't have to be friends with everyone, but why can't you just be nice? I mean, there's no reason or for kids to grow up or be neutral. Like, you can have your cliques. I had kids in high school that I got along with and others that we just didn't have common interest. By the way, part of the same parents team. play a big role, too. I remember Absolutely. sometimes I'd come home That's with someone true. and my mom would just politely say, you know, I don't know that she's a very nice person. Absolutely. <laughs> just politely and yeah, at least point it out to me so I could make my own decision. Friends yeah. close and enemies closer. Ask me. Wow. Wow. Noted. Wow.